I just wanted to tell you one of the things I appreciate about Anna, and I don't have anybody in my life that's in a wheelchair or anything like that, but I think we see a lot of disabled people and, you know, bless them. They, they find everything with humor and that's kind of their coping mechanism. And I think sometimes that helps us to feel comfortable right. about it. But with Anna, we get to see the fact that she's not comfortable with it. Yeah. And, you know, we get, I mean, he, sometimes we, we, we always want people to make happy so that we don't feel bad about things. And, you know, people deal with stuff in different ways. She's more than welcome to deal with it. However, I mean, she's a fake character, we know. But, you know, everybody's allowed to deal with it in their own way. And, you know, it doesn't always have to be something that makes us comfortable. Sometimes people should be allowed to struggle and express their frustration. Yeah, so. thank, uh, thank you for, for pointing that out. That, that was very important to me. Like, I didn't want... I didn't want it to be a pat portrayal. I didn't want it yeah. to be, ro you know, rosy. And like, it was kind of inspired by my, uh, throughout 2021 and, f and for several months thereafter and, and there before, my wife was almost essentially bedridden with this really mystery chronic pain. She just couldn't move without just horrible agony. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's a long time to be dealing with. And she saw so many doctors. She wasn't getting like the right diagnosis. Nobody could figure out what it was. Until eventually uh, they did, and she's in a, a much better place now. She's not dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's in a much better place. Uh, right. She's in a much better physical place. Yeah, so I had, like, firsthand front row seat to that process of somebody mourning their mobility. And, and you know, it is, it is messy, and you're absolutely right. Like, I think a lot of fictional portrayals try and skip past that part so that, like, mm -hmm. oh, let's not make it uncomfortable. Let's not make it, like, um, you know anything uh, icky or gross or, or anything like that. But what's nice about a horror novel and a novel in general is that we get to spend so much time in Anna's head and really see her, right. you know, have moments of triumph, have moments of resentment and depression. She's also dealing with postpartum depression, which is another thing we don't like deal with that mm -hmm. often in society. We kind of are like, okay, let's, let's ignore that. Um, that's, that's also too complicated. So yeah, there are, there are definitely chapters where she is just a mess. And she knows she's a mess. She doesn't want to be a mess, but like this is what life is like right now. She can't pretend to be otherwise. I think it leads to a really uh, interesting character dynamic.